So we were done with your poon, and it was time to go strike it rich in the gem fields. But first, there's a couple of stops. Look at this big bridge, big boy. Rockhampton. Nah, we got a little bit yet. No more baby shark, darling. No more baby shark. No. No, darling, no more baby shark. Baby shark! Baby shark! This is Bella, aka Chucky, aka You Don't Negotiate With Me. Oh, Bella, no more baby shark. Who the fuck did I think I was trying to negotiate with a three-nager? Here we are, we're over here at the Westwood Hotel. Kids were too hungry, we had to pull in and get a feed. And uh, just a little little town, little drive through town, but man, they had the best pie and sausage roll that I've had in a long time. It's got the, uh, the tick of approval from everyone. It says they got free camping out the back. As long as you buy something from the, uh, from the pub, was that a good pie? Yum. Was that a good sausage roll, guys? Yeah. Beautiful little stop. Coffee was good too. Coffee's amazing. Hey? Back with the twisties! <laughs> At least you know they're twisties this time. Oh, V, hey? Sneaking a V out the back, I see, hey? You didn't get a coffee, so... What's this place called? Westwood. Westwood Hotel. On our way to catch up with our neighbours who have been around Australia many times. And uh, out of nowhere, once again, they found us. <laughs> We're catching up to have lunch with them at... Where are we catching up to have lunch? Durango. Durango? Durango? Do you know what it is, Kat? What? Is it Durango or...? Django? Django. Django. I don't know. All right. Django. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see soon. See you soon, Robin Janelle. Ah, oh, we've stopped in Durango. Durango? Django? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll put it up on the screen. There's a beautiful little park here. This is a free big campground, like parkland campgrounds. Toilet blocks over there, hot showers. Got all this park, brand new park, bins, all free camping. Good place to stop overnight if you need to, I reckon. Beautiful parklands. Spot for the kids, there's kids having some fun. Here we are at Sapphire, rolled in, beer o'clock, and look at this, five o'clock, feeding frenzy. You wait till you see this footage, it's amazing. The birds are going nuts. Bella! Beautiful, the rosellas. Uh, the cockatoos, you even got little wallabies coming up. Billy, coming up. <laughs> oh, I see a crow. Uh, first morning in the gem fields. Kristen's made this beautiful breakfast. I'm ready to go down to the gem fields. You ready to go gem fields, yeah. boy? Um, but you've got, you're looking for the old creep bits. Yeah. It's no point in just digging anywhere at random. Yep. You're looking for... We're, we're going to go to Rice Bowl. Okay, where's that? Yeah, where's that? Where's that? <laughs> It said rice bowl, and right. I said it was an omen because we've got we eat rice. Okay. Oh. I think everyone eats rice, honey. Well, it's no, it said there's sapphires here. It yeah. just called to me. Yeah, it's a rice, rice bowl. bowl. Oh, I've it's never heard of it. It's in the bloody map. Yeah. Your map. Yeah, never heard of it. Rice bowl. Where, where about is that? <laughs> I don't know. Where's our little brochure? Did you bring? 
Oh, there. I'll have a look. <laughs> we'll have to go in and get another yeah, grocer and have a look. It's yeah. like, no, nah, there was two. Rice bowl and something else. Oh, Bella picked another one. Yeah. We said rice bowl because it sounded Asian. Yeah, I'm, I mean, why not? Oh. You know, there's got to be some rhyme or reason yeah, to, to try it and, and go and have well, a look. Well, we thought that must have been popular with the Chinese. Yeah, it could well have been because there was years ago, <laughs> there was a lot of Chinese here. You know, I that's, told, yeah, I told yeah, you that. The, the Chinese and, uh, were big miners. Yes, they yeah. were. And the Thais used to buy all the... So the Thais had a, sh uh, a little hook not and you'd go with your we bag of... Inclusive. Yeah, no, that's all right. Haven't, <laughs> haven't you read about the Eureka really Stockade? Like yeah. yeah. All right. Let's get into it. <laughs> Before we dig that hole and get too deep. Yes. Yeah. So there's two grades of sieves. One with a bigger hole. Yeah. One with a smaller hole. Small one on the bottom. The big one on top. You're learning this one? Yeah. So I'll just put a couple of handfuls in here. Try not to drop any. Now, having said that sapphires are their own stone and it's pointless cracking rocks, you might get big clumps of dirt. Mm. It's, it's worth breaking it's them like up. It's clay, isn't it? It is. It is. And it sets really hard. So if you're going out and digging and you're coming across a lot of clay, it's hard work. Yep. It really is hard work. That's why, generally, people in summer don't dig. Yeah. It's too hot. Oh, too hot. Too, too, right. Yeah, too much yeah, hard work. Hard. Which is why this time of, of year, the town goes from, I think, 600 residents to about 10,000. Really? Yeah. Wow, to 10,000? Yeah. Holy yeah. moly. Because yeah. like a lot, a lot of... On their own land or they just come free camp? A bit, bit of both. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. So you can free camp on the General Fossicking sites. You need a camping license to do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then there's there's three caravan parks here. Yeah. yeah, we, yeah. We're, we're generally full. Yeah. So in the cooler yeah. months. Yeah, yeah, in the cooler months. Wow. Yeah. It really takes off. It's like, wow. it's like a different place. It's beautiful here. Yeah. I never, we've lived in Mount Isa a long time, drove these roads and never had like ever heard of it yeah and then what was it that i had read i read the top five things to do in outback queensland with okay. kids yeah and this was number one all oh, right okay oh it, uh, the dinosaur was number one this was two yeah and i believe that kids do uh geology at school so yeah now they yeah. do yeah so a lot of kids that come here they already you know probably know more than me <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh mate the rocks this guy's been talking about already yeah where i'm blowing you ready, away kai are you ready all right, I'll just put a little bit more in. And then the first thing we would do, so you've been out, you've dug, and you put it into your sieves, yep. taking all the big rocks out, because it's pointless. Doing big rocks. Shaking big rocks, it's hard work, it's yep. heavy. It's to do a dry sieve. So just shake it, and all it's doing is just getting rid of all the little bits, because we are going to go and wash it. So what that does as well, obviously, larger stones stay at the top, the smaller yeah, ones underneath, and anything that's tiny just gets Go. blown away. Now the idea of washing is if there are big lumps of, of dirt in there, it's to try and break that down to try and reveal sapphire. It also, if sapphires are covered in dirt, it gets rid of that. But yep. what it'll do, every stone will be nice and shiny. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't make it sapphire, <laughs> which is a shame. <laughs> Having said that, we'll put them, turn them out onto a dry mat. Yep. Once they start to dry off, a normal stone will go back to being dull. Sapphires will stay shiny. And I can ah. see another one in there. Is there a sapphire? Yes. I can see it. Good work. Do, do you want to pick it out or should we watch the magic it? magic eye. Yep. So they really stick out. They really oh, do shine. Oh, it's under. And have, it might have slipped through. Mm. And uh, with sunlight, it really does make it them shine. Well. Yep. Oh, that's a lever, right? So let's leave it right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's nothing. There's lots of lever rights. Lever so right. You'll also yeah. find a, a lot of uh, quartz. Yeah. So you'll get uh, sort of uh, white quartz, rose quartz. Yeah. But in fish tanks with a yeah. UV light, yeah. it really makes pretty. them pink. Yeah, it really makes them pink. What are you got? So you should got we go and wash these? Yes. 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 All right then. Oh, Let's go gone. wash it. <laughs> so we're going over to a Willoughby. Oh. A Willoughby. Oh, Willoughby. So that just sits in there. Now you'll see after the first oh. dunk, they'll all be nice and shiny. So how do they do this out in the bush? They don't, they just pull. Um, some people will take canisters of water. water. A lot of people won't use these, so they'll turn them away and just put their hands in like they're doing yeah. uh, gold panning. Yeah, you know, just shaking. in the water. Yeah, all, yeah. all you're trying to do is wash the dirt off to reveal sapphires. Yeah. But the, the method with doing this and doing I call it a jiggle. I don't know what the technical term is. Because sapphires are heavy, 
they'll come into the middle it's a place of least resistance heavy stuff will always go into the middle yeah. drop to the bottom of the sieve so when we go back and turn the sieve out ideally sapphires are in the middle at the top ah. all right but we, we haven't got a lot of stones in there so when we turn it out they are going to move these all right so the jiggle is and that's all we have to do <laughs> jiggle 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 who wants to have a go at that Cut. Get in no, there, Kai. It's not going to be one of these down at the yeah. rice bowl. <laughs> no. So this this is spring loaded. So just be careful. Just gentle so it, it, it wants to go up all the time. All right. Use your muscles, buddy. A little jig. In the water, baby. Now go. Whoa. Oh. Look like at him. An expert. Look at him go. Yeah. He's an old miner from way back. What a workout. All right, cars go. Woohoo! Well done. <laughs> oh. And if you go too crazy, so you get one of these them. You'll lose them. Well, it depends how dirty it is. Gentle, gentle. At the moment, it's not particularly dirty. Because there's not many rocks in yeah. there. Mm. So you can see that the, oh, the agitation Piper wants is, a jiggle. is in air up yeah. through there as well. So how long did you do it for? Until you're bored or... <laughs> 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 You got them strong hands. Yeah. Got that. See? Oh. See how it's all going to the yeah. yeah. So because they're heavy and dense, they will move into the middle. Yeah. Unfortunately, oh, that the sieves are well used and abused, so they're a little bit uneven. Yeah. So that, that adds to uh, them Where not going into up. the middle. But we'll take this off. Just tip it to one side and get rid of that water. It's cold when it goes down your leg. Yeah. All right. And then we'll go back to the table. Okay. So this is a tricky part. We need to get these onto the mats. You guys bake cakes? Yeah. yeah. So you know when you turn out a cake, when you turn the tin upside down to get the cake out? Yeah. We're going to do the same with this. Uh, so there right. could be sapphires in both of them. Is it could, could well be. Okay. Yep. So the easiest thing to do is hands underneath. Yep. If you just stand back a little bit, that's it. Just I'm not that uh, much of an expert. Yeah. All right, so it just goes up and over. So you saw the stones move. Yeah. If you have more stones in there by the third pull, it tends to keep its shape. Yeah. All right. And the same with this one. But we'll do this one onto you. Anybody want to have a go? Look out then. Up and over, Cara. Whoa, perfect. Very good. Perfect. All right. Now, if you have the sunlight, again, it, it does help and enhance. But this is the hard part. This is actually going down and having a look and see if you can see sapphires. Can you now, see because they're all shiny, I think you asked yeah, if that I was one. If you pick it up, I think that's one. Just give it a rub. I think that one is. That one's definitely. It does look like one. See, now it's dry. It's lost that shine. Yeah. yeah. And they will dry off over time. I think it's a bit of quartz. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice piece. Is that another one? Oh, belly. Have a look. Yeah, that's just a stone. And it broke. It broke. And I definitely can't do that with sapphires. So sapphires are number nine on the hardened scale with diamonds at number ten. Ooh. And ten being the hardest. I was just gonna say ten's the hardest. The hardest. Yes. Yep. So sapphire is a nine, so unless I'm Superman, that's definitely not sapphire. Now before we went down to find our own riches, it was Sunday, so we figured we better hit the Sunday markets and get some inspiration. Ooh, real gold nugget, eh? Oh, Bella, yeah, you hold her hand. She won't let go of it. Heavy, isn't it? Wow. Oh, oh wow. Here we are. Down on the Rifle Range Creek. Down here, fossil camp, like the old times. There's the troop. There's the car. Yep. Stay away from the side. Please. Stay away from the side. Come over here, you guys. Do I have to stand where Maddie is? This way. I'll go down and then come back for oh, you. That's oh, easy. That's easy. Yeah, I can do this. You climbed worse than bloody Elliot Ed's. Hey, good mum.
Mum, who did? It's, like, it's just like going to the. Um, Mum, Mum, who claimed the rest? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Watch out! There's a big divot here. Watch your oh watch your footing, honey. Just watch your footing as you're coming down. Oh, I hope we don't run into a rattlesnake. There's no bloody rattlesnakes, mate. You're in the wrong country. <laughs> no rattlesnakes in Australia. We got worse snakes. Oh yeah. We got bloody eastern browns and. <laughs> Do we have red belly snakes? Yes, we have red belly snakes. Can you stop talking about snakes? Why? <laughs> oh, you're right there, mate. Oh. Come on. Let's head down the riverbed. Yeah, grab onto me. All right. This is your. You better fucking find something good. Just wait. Just wait. I'm coming back. No way. We'll get you down. Holy oh shit. <gasps> like pack horses, look at this. Turn these buckets There better be a bloody sapphire in here. <laughs> oh shit. Well, after a big day down the uh, riverbed Fossican, what do we get, mummy? I take that silence as a nothing. We got life experience. Life experience. I tell you what we're getting. We're getting a nice chicken curry. Uh, what do we got? Is it a mango chicken or is it a butter chicken? It's called a bitza. It's a bitza? I think we got two mangoes and one butter. Well, <laughs> I see choco. I see chicken thigh fillet. You know it's on. Let me show you the spoils. We did actually get some sapphires. Yep, yeah, they will. Okay, now to the untrained eye, this just looks like a bag of rocks. There could be millions of dollars worth of, okay, let's be honest. There could be dollars and cents worth of sapphires here. We got them out of the uh, the wash bags you get from <laughs> from the caravan park. Sapphire Caravan Park has been amazing though. Have you enjoyed it, Kath? Absolutely. Absolutely. You come back? Yeah. Bloody oh. But we would go down this track down here. <laughs> Where are they? Yeah, she's she's talking about um maybe in encroaching on someone else's um plot we won't be doing that but yeah it's been amazing oh we're up bright and early ready to leave sapphire had an absolute amazing time you have fun in sapphire car yeah you did yeah what did you like best finding all those sapphires yeah that's the one but like i said we're an early start big day of travel today Heading in Winton direction, not sure how far we'll get, but we'll see. Oh, good morning, Piper. And it's my dad's birthday today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, daddy's birthday. Big travel day. And just like that, Sapphire was over.